so this is a day or so after my last um, my last recording when I tried to to use a prospector just to earn a little bit extra. So we're gonna see at least what we we've managed to accomplish here. So we have four work orders uh, that I managed to sell some items, or at least managed to refine some items, I should say. So we have some bores, a little bit of quantanium, some bexalite, uh, the titanium, just because might as well. And what else? Get this to. Why can't I select this? There we go. Uh, some barrel, hephaestine, terranite, and bexalite. A little bit more there. So this is what we have. But the aurora cannot. Uh, cannot collect that. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to to rent again a uh, cutlass. I'm going to rent a cutlass and we're going to try using that to earn a bit more money but we're also going to do it to do some cargo runs. So this is the last part about refining. Uh, what else do we have here? What other things do we have? Just a prospector. Okay. I mean there are other ships that have cargo as well but the cutlass is a good fighting ship and I think I'm going to work more on the bounties. Try to earn a little bit more money back. So we're going to add the price of another 35000 to what we've done here. So we are going to confirm rental. And now if we look at our money, we are down quite a bit. Uh, 768000 We started at about almost nine hundred. dollars uh, We're looking at about maybe 120000 down. It was about 95000 for uh, the rental buying the, the mining head that as you saw was a waste now until I can purchase a prospector but now we have the cutlass so I wonder if it'll show up right away we're gonna check that out so I'm gonna go here and we're gonna see if the cutlass shows up here in order to to ship these items so we're gonna select oh not that down here storage option cutlass there it is and you can see it's got 4,600 cargo units. So we should be able to fit all this in here. So we're going to collect this. Collect. Yes. See if we can fit it all in in one go. Select. Cutlass. Collect the bores. Yes. Try to collect the Bexalate Titanium. Oh, we're cutting it close. I think I'll have enough room. Oh, maybe not. I might not be able to fit in this last group right now. So, how much do we have left? We do not. So I'm going to have to come back for this one, because we only have 1,393 left, and it's 1,661. So we'll come back. We'll take two runs to do this. Not a big deal. Oh, go this way. So this is the part that's kind of scary. We have spent all that time mining, and then we could have sold the ore right away for about half what it was cost. Plus, we would have saved the money for refining, but we didn't do that, and we spent a few hours, uh, basically I left it for a day refining all the goods that I mined and I still haven't made money but it actually cost me a little extra to do that. Now I've loaded it into a ship that I've paid to rent and I'm about to fly to Lorville. So you could go to Lorville or you could go to uh, Air 18 or New Babbage and that is where you sell refined goods. So while I'm flying, if someone attacks me and blows up my ship, if I crash, or if there's a server crash, I lose all that cargo and all that work. So there is a potential that I'm going to be in the hole by about 150000 at the end of this, as opposed to being able to actually hopefully break even uh, and give up on prospecting until you can afford a prospector. So I'm going to get in my ship uh, and then we'll fly to Lowerville. So 
here we are getting to our ship. Um, as you can see, here is some of the cargo stored in here. Uh, not everything shows up for some reason. When you put some things in here, they don't show up. Other times, boxes like this one full of metals here has shown up. Uh, I was expecting there to actually be more crates in here, but there is not, so not a big issue. Or maybe the cargo space in this one is only at the front here. Maybe it's only this, this close area. So we're going to just get into the pilot seat and we are going to fly and land at Lorville. So I just kind of wanted to show you the cargo, but no need to watch me do the entire flight. into Lorville, not so bad. It was about uh, maybe 10 minutes from waking up at uh, Faithful Dream, getting to the refinery decks, renting the Cutlass, loading it up and getting here. So it's really not that bad of a jaunt. And if you have a large number of items in a bigger ship uh, doing a refinery run, uh, this is how I actually made a ton of money, is using a prospector and then transporting the goods. It's just, I own the prospector. And when you own a prospector, not only is it infinitely faster to mine rocks, but you can mine larger rocks, you can use the consumables, which is why I still think prospector is the way to go, just not a rental. Uh, I have to say, I was really disappointed with how the rental, and I'm just hoping when we get to the central business district, which we haven't been to yet, um, we break even, or at least close to even. I have a little bit of a surprise that I will uh, show you at the end as well, uh, something that I've kind of not shown so far in the video, but as it stands, uh, I'm just hoping that we can get to about a hundred, or sorry, 890,000 or so, so that we're really not too far behind from where we started uh, with all this effort. Uh, it's not so bad to to have failures in this game, uh, learning experiences, but at the same time, you don't want to be set back too far, especially if you've been working hard. Uh, overall, uh, it was fun. I, I still enjoy the mining, and I've kind of learned 
Uh, you can crack some of the bigger Bexalite rocks or Terranite. It's just mainly the uh, the Quantanium, which is the big money maker that is pretty much impossible with the Prospector. The rock renting that by far more profitable and something I'd highly recommend and that I may continue to do. So I'm just gonna come in for this landing here and then head on the train. Uh, actually, I'll start right at the the train, uh, the, the train station or the space station, uh, just so you can see where to go to get to Central Business. Watching ships take off. I don't know what's down there. What is this? going to cut there and I'm not sure if I still will or not uh, because I was kind of watching a ship take off which I think is cool and coming for landing it didn't take that long I may have just kept this whole thing running so well I guess you'll know if you're watching this if there was a cut or not but I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do we are now heading to the terminal and we're going to head to a train uh, it might be a better cut to cut out the train because that part you don't need to really see me just driving along. And we are going to be heading to, I guess you could call it the fancier, the fancier part of Lorville. The, the part where the money is, not where the money's coming from. So all the workers here doing all the mining, making the money for Constantine Hurston and toiling away in this dirt. We're going to head to to the land of brass and marble. Where, where the money is exchanging hands, so you just take the stairs out of the uh, the terminal, the same ones that you come up when you're coming into to get your ship from the terminal here. We're gonna go down these stairs. Sorry, and we're going to a new line. So normally when we're coming through, we're heading to the uh, L19. Uh, where everyone lives, the, where the Habs are. And when you come off, you come around this corner and you go up there. But instead of going to the Metro Center, we're going to go to the Green Line here, Central Business District or CBD. That's where we're heading. So this is a new place for us. So when this train arrives, I'll get on there. And when we approach that big monolithic building that we see when we're flying in, uh, I'll come back to us and you can join us heading towards where you sell the uh, the goods that we have on there now arriving stand by and let passengers so there peeking out between the buildings is where we're going that giant monolithic building that always makes me think of Blade Runner we are heading to the the, the epicenter of this massive city heading through all these buildings and, and everything here we're going to go right underneath this is so exciting. Every time I'm like exploring a new place, or even a place I've been to, like I just love looking at all, look at the, like the, the neon signs, like all the like little alleyways. This is so amazing. Uh, we're now underneath that building and we're coming to, to 
one of the more impressive places in the city. Uh, so you can see, look at the shiny floors, these crazy seats that you can sit on here. This is the train station. This is what it looks like on on like the place where the the money money exists. Uh, whoa! Hello. Sorry. We're gonna go through to to the big building. We're actually in the bottom of that massive building now. Uh, there's another line, another space line heading towards the uh, perimeter line, I believe it is, over this way. It's another central line. So that's another station down there. Look at this. This looks so good. We have these giant... I always thought they are like Palpatine, but they're just giant statues of the various Hurston family. We're heading into Central Bus Business District now. We have these giant obsidian or granite plinths here, shiny floors, and we're heading in. And this is where you can learn a little bit about uh, Hurston. So if you don't know, Hurston is the big weapons manufacturer currently in the game. They produce the big weapons for ships, so we have all these guns here all on display. Look at the size of this gun! Look at this! So cool! All right, and I didn't store my ship, so it's about five and a half kilometers away. There it is over there. Little little guns here. We can see a showcase of more weaponry in here. You could read a little bit about Legacy. Maybe we'll do that. I'll do an exploration of uh, of Lorville and Hurston. And, but like, look at these guns. Look at all these weaponry. So all those gems we're mining, they're going to guns. We got some pamphlets here you can read. You got a whole bunch of ship weapons, larger and small, all shiny and new and full of pew pews. Look at this. This is awesome. I love these. I love the design. I love how clean looks they are. You could uh, get some items there. You can buy some weapons for your ship if you want. But we're not going to do that. We can't at the moment. Um, I never noticed this waterfall before. That's beautiful. It kind of reminds me there are waterfalls in New in New Babbage, and it's kind of like that. So that was the transit, and I'm not sure where transfers is. I don't know what this is. Uh, we're gonna go. Do we go this way? Now I'm all turned around because I've been. Oh, maybe down here. We go down these stairs. Because I've been all distracted. I haven't actually been to this area in a while. Go down here. There we go. So from... Just to make it easy for you. From the train station. Through those doors and up the stairs. Those are the two giant brass statues we saw. Just come straight around this giant one here. You can read a little bit about the history of Hurston Dynamics. Or Interested in helping with one of Hurston's many charitable from transit through transfers and from here we go to the trading area. So this trading area here is where you sell your goods. What you do is you head to any of the kiosks. There's four over there, there's four here. And just like how we were selling and transferring things in admin, we're going to sell, select location, we'll start with titanium, we made 2,741, not much at all. Next we'll try the, I don't know. Vexalite maybe? Vexalite 45,351. Much better. And that's over a thousand Vexalite. Then we have about 1,600 Borace. Borace, 58,000. And then we have just under 200 Quantanium. Not much quantanium at all. 
Oh. Timed out on the terminal. So the Quantanium 200 is worth 15,000. So as you can see, that is worth quite a bit. If we could actually have mined Quantanium Rocks, you can see why we would have made so much money. For 197 Quantanium, we're making almost 16,000. That is where the money is. So the good news is we started out with 898,128. And if we look at this, 891,000. So we are about 8,000 behind. We've lost about 8,000, sort of. But I'm going to take a little bit of a cut here and come back and show you a little bit of a surprise I have and why we're actually doing okay. So I am back in Lorville at the Central Business District. Uh, I was going to show you a little bit of a surprise I have, uh, and then I forgot that I have one more thing to do. Uh, I had to go back to uh, the Dream Station and pick up the last cargo that couldn't fit in the Cutlass. So I did that. Uh, Cutlass is loaded up and I am now back at the exchange here. And I'm going to sell that last bit. So I think we will actually have net a profit after all of this. Because we were very close to getting to uh, 898,000, which is where we started. And now, we've got some barrel for almost 3,000. We got some Vexalite for 28,000. Again, so we don't get kicked. Fastest tain for thirteen sixty two. And then we got Terranite. We got two hundred and seventy of those, uh, which actually should be pretty good money. Terranite's not that bad. Nine thousand four hundred ninety nine. So there we are. We are actually over 920,000 Alpha UEC. 933,360. So we actually made about 40,000 on that just by mining some asteroids that we were able to mine. Uh, actually, I didn't end up mining that very very long. I, uh, I was kind of disappointed I couldn't use the workaround because the hangars are gone. I'll talk about that a bit, or I will have talked about that, I suppose. At the beginning of the video, I haven't I haven't recorded that part yet, but it was just disappointing. I didn't really spend as much time mining as I wanted to. Really, you're looking at that was still a lot of effort for that much money uh, to come out ahead at forty thousand. Um, I could have just did ten of those low risk missions and would have been maybe more fun. A uh, bit of a grind using the stock prospector, but now let's see if I can catch this train. Can I get it? Can I get it? Yeah, I made it. Four seconds to spare. Uh, now I'm going to head to uh, the, the admin center, which is close to the Habs, and uh, now I will cut. And when I get there, I will show you my other surprise uh, little bonus. So we are at admin. And uh, if you remember, this is where we sold our rock mineables. Speaking of which, I don't know why the rock was still showing up at the other location. My rental for the rock is gone now. Uh, still showing up there. Can't sell anything in it. And I don't actually own it. It's not in my hangar. It's not available to me. Uh, something's messed up. And it's there. Uh, I'm not sure what. However, one thing that I didn't mention until now, uh, if I go to my personal inventory, while flying around in the prospector, I found Hadnite. I ended up getting 109. 
Now, is it better than using a rock to mine it to use a prospector? Absolutely not. It cracks it quite easily. It's easy to fly around and scan and find the stuff. But once you break it, you cannot extract with a prospector. I had to run out in my uh, Pembroke armor and I had to pick every piece up by hand. But look, 29,975. So 30,000 UEC for the pile of, of Had Knights. So I'll do a quick. Ooh, did that work? Did I get kicked out for talking too long? There we go. Oh, that didn't work. Let's try this again. Oh no, 96,000. It came up. It's just very confusing when you got kicked out of time. I just want to double check. Yeah, it's gone. Perfect. So, if you look at now, I'm at 96,000. Or, sorry, 963,335 UEC. So, I am 40,000 away from a million. So, uh, I read to the prospector, I worked hard, I didn't really make much money, but now I have a, a Lancet laser, so when I can ever buy a prospector, I can put that laser on. So if I didn't buy that, that would have saved me about 50,000 right there, which would have been 50,000 more profit. Also, um, I rented, in order to deliver my refined goods, a cutlass, which I now have. So I am going to end this video here. But as you can see, I'm not heading back to my hab. I'm heading to the space support. So while this video is ending, the next part, I'm going to use the cutlass, which I've rented, to do some more bounties. I'm going to try the harder bounties. Uh, so no more very low risk. We'll go with the low risk or maybe the moderate risk bounties. We'll try to, to earn our way up and try those. So that's what I'm going to do right now. And that will be my next video. So I hope this one at least was kind of entertaining. Uh, Maybe you learned something. Maybe you want to try mining with the Prospector. Uh, I really think the Prospector is an awesome money maker, but the rental one, I just can't. I can't recommend it. In the current state, and the fact that the uh, the hangar module, which honestly is something I kind of like playing around in, seems to be gone at least for now. Uh, who knows if they're bringing it back? If they bring it back as part of the game, where you can actually have the hangar in game and leave from there. That will be amazing. However, I don't see that happening anytime soon. So, so it's kind of disappointing that it's gone. Uh, but yeah, the, uh, the prospector wasn't a total loss, as you can see. Oh. Wasn't a total loss, as you can see. Now I can't my mobile glass open. Almost a billion. However, not the best. Can't recommend it. But I hope it was worth watching. So thank you for watching, and next video, more bounties. Until next time, I hope to see you guys soon, flying around in the verse. Have a good day.